Well, joining me now is Christoph Voigt, who is the chairman of the 5G AA. Christoph, thank you very much for talking with Telecom TV. Nice to see you. Uh, can you start by telling us a little bit more about the 5G AA and its role and objectives? The, the main idea of 5G AA is to bridge between the automotive and the telecommunications world in order to work together on the 5G technology and on the 5G vision. So by bringing these two together, the, the telecoms and the automotive, the, mo the mobility sector together, um, what, what do you hope to achieve though? What, what is the, what is the um, long-term objective? Is it, is it purely about putting connectivity in vehicles and transport infrastructure, or was it in more like services and developing services that can come off that? So 5G is a game changer. So if you look back in the past, um, we just uh, copied a smartphone and integrated smartphone technology in the car, basically in order to bring internet to the car. But with 5G, the world has changed. With 5G, we have a plenty of different functionalities which are car related, not longer just smartphone related. And therefore, we, we had to take care of the standard, the 5G idea. And that was the reason why we founded 5G AA, in order to really take care of that standard, which is now not just a mobile network standard, but also our automotive standard. So what is 5G doing today with the automotive and connected mobility sector? What, what can 5G achieve in the sector today? So for today, we are currently in the development of 5G solutions or have already deployed 5G in the car. So this is again about getting internet to the car, but with a higher um, um, availability and especially with a better quality. That's clear. But in parallel, we are working on the CV2X technology. It's cellular vehicle to everything. And this is the technology which brings the car to speak with each other. And uh, we have already some deployments uh, over the world. And within the next couple of years, new deployments will come. And the main idea behind it is we want, for example, to improve safety. If you have a look on uh, our uh, showcase we shown last year with the school bus, so we want, for example, with the CV2X technology, help to protect our children, our children from fatalities. And that's the idea of uh, CV2X and basically the idea of uh, the whole 5G AA. Now, technology advances rapidly. Um, if we start looking ahead to maybe the end of the decade, 5G should be rolled out more, should have some more capabilities, more robust. We've also got new iterations of the specifications coming out. We're looking at 5G and beyond. Where does your work that you're doing today, especially on these demos and these trials we're seeing here, what will it look like in like five or six years time? What, what do you imagine this sector to, to look like? So in the demos today, we have a, a focus on the vehicle to network technology. So you know, always the use cases around low latency, a high broadband and so on. So this is a thing where we believe it helps us to get the cars connected. And what you have to keep in mind, we currently have not only 5G, but also with 4G, we have a two digit million number of cars on the road, which are sometimes at the table where we can get new features into it. So that's uh, the idea of V2N. But on the other hand, if you have a look on the CV2X technology, we defined at the very beginning of 5G AA, the LTV2X technology, the first generation of CV2X. So we currently have deployments in China already on the road. United States is, uh, is coming end and end. And at the other hand, we are now working on the second generation of CV2X, so-called 5G V2X. And today you can see in the demos for the very first time worldwide, you can see the 5G V2X demo. It's working. And this is the, the really, really exciting part of 5G. Well, I've seen the demo. I've been lucky enough to, to, to ride in one of the vehicles. It's, it's very impressive. Um, that's the future we're hoping to get to. What, what are the challenges between now and then? What do we as an industry or industries need to be aware of? What do we need to overcome? This is a good question, but basically I would say it's not about challenges. It's about opportunities. So uh, this week, it's the 32nd 5GA week. So we are since a very long uh, time together. And during this time, we really have got a joint family. We are speaking the same language. We are working on the same 5GA vision. And therefore, I'm honestly speaking very happy with that. So the 32nd week of, of, of meetings, um, what happened this week? What, what's the main objectives? What are you most, most proud of, of achieving this week? There are different areas we are working on and the work items are starting with 
something which is very important for our industry, like new generation e-call work items, which we are still working on it. Yeah? Second, we are working on special work items around the vehicle to network technology. And very important for, for here in order to be able to show that 5G V2X demo, we have been working, for example, on so-called profiles for 5G V2X. And this is basically a language which both cars, for example, and the infrastructure have to understand. And this is meant with profiles. And this is that what we are doing within 5GA. We are defining the technology, we are defining the language, and we are getting all the stakeholders together in order to work on that. So that's the 5GA week. And for those companies in the telecoms industry that are maybe not involved in 5G AA, you'd encourage them to take a look and, and participate? We are an open organization and we are always uh, open for new companies. So everybody is uh, very, very welcome to join us. And uh, I believe that there is also, on the other hand, a big benefit to everybody because you have access to everything we are working with in 5G AA. So you have access to all that information, so you have access to the, to the demos, to that conference part and so on and so on. So I, in my eyes, there is a huge benefit uh, for everybody who really wants to get access to that technology. Great. Christoph, thanks very much for talking with us. Thank you.